Oh my goodness, why isn't anyone talking about this new AI video generator? I just found one of, if not the best, AI video generators of 2025, and it's just like Kling and Sora in terms of quality. In some cases, even better. I'm not even kidding. They've even got an unlimited plan where you can generate infinite, yes, infinite AI video by just turning on a setting. If you go on their website, it literally shows it there, and its quality is next level. I'm personally shocked not too many people even know about it. It supports text-to-video, image-to-video, and reference-to-video where you can combine multiple elements into one scene. And the realism is amazing. It has one of, if not the best, physics simulations out of all AI video generators out there, even with anime scenes. Let's get started. Also, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more honest AI reviews like this one. So the name of the tool, if you haven't already figured out, is called Vidu, and the link will be in the description below. Now, this is actually low-key one of my best AI tools, especially for video, and I'm going to show you why. So right off the bat, as you can see, there's reference to video, there is image to video, there is text to video, and even AI sound effects, meaning you do not need to leave this platform if you're working on any video. Now, there are also tons and tons of templates for you to use, like this cool one with the car. But now, let's take a look at some of the results here. So here, we've got this one of a man with a unique crown playing the piano. As you can see, just take a look at the hands. Everything is perfect, and there is no morphing. Everything is just as it should be, which is very good. You can like it, or you can go ahead to recreate it with a similar prompt. But let's see other examples. So there's also this one of a kid flying around, and I want to take a look at realistic physics. As you can see, I want to focus on the kid and how his cape is moving and how perfectly it adheres to the wind that is blowing. And there's literally no morphing. And don't forget, this is one of if not the fastest AI video generators out there, in my opinion. Emphasis on my opinion. So now, I want you to particularly take a look at this one of a pig holding a mic, and I'll just show you how super realistic this is. No morphing. As you can see, the hair physics and everything is literally on point. I think this is very, very awesome. So this one is of a dog jumping around, and I also want you to look at how perfect Vidu AI did on this one. Just take a look at the water bouncing, with the dog bouncing and the character moving at the back. Everything is just spot on, in my opinion. I think when it comes to physics, it really understands. Let's also see this funny one. As you can see, they have people on top of the cake. Of course, this one is a bit abstract, but it still did a very, very decent job. Then we have this one of a car and a lion transforming, and I'll show you how to use all of these. Now let us get started. So first of all, you can go into the Explore page if you want to gain inspiration from other people's work. You can also go into Templates, and you can try out a lot of templates, which we are all going to do in this video. You can go to AI sound effects to create a sound effect of your liking, or first of all, let's try the text to video. So just click on it, then simply put in your prompt like this. A simple prompt to really test out. Then you can choose the style, whether you want animation or general. Then for duration, it's five seconds. Then the movements, I think I'll choose small. The aspect ratio, I'll choose 16 by nine. The amount, just one. And for the non-peak value, it just means generation process during the non-peak hours on the server, but we don't want that turned on. And if you go here, you can select the video model. Of course, for clear visual quality, you want to select the Q1. And then we'll click on Create. Let's see what it would cook for us. So now it's done, and it roughly took about five to seven minutes. Then, and before I show you, I think once you sign up, they do give you some free credits every single day to generate content. And let me show you what it did for us here. Just put it in full screen and just take a look at this. As I said, this tool is very, very good at physics. And look how the water is bouncing, how it's jumping. There's no morphing and the background is so consistent. There's no glitching. Even the tail wagging is spot on. I'm telling you, this has to be one of the top AI video models out there, especially because of how well it understands physics. Now you can publish it because they do have a content reward system that you can apply for. You can download it with or without watermark. Then you can go here, you can love it or not, and you can choose to recreate it. So now let us try it for AI influencers. For this, we can just use ChatGPT. So here, for this, we are going to put in a very detailed prompt. So I just told ChatGPT this, and I did specify the amount of characters. That way, it won't be too long. And I simply told it what we wanted to do, and I will just press enter. Then maybe you can just tell it to make it 500 characters. 
then simply copy it, then go back here, and paste it in. Then make sure to just adjust it a little bit. Because for those who don't know, the first few words are very crucial in prompts. Then we'll leave every other thing the same, we maybe choose 16 by 9, and click on create. Now boy oh boy, I must really say Vidu AI really cooked with this one, and I'm not even joking, it took this one roughly about 6 minutes to generate, which is very very fast. And just look at the quality. As you can see, the entire point is to make a selfie video, and it's so very realistic. Even the fingers are not morphing, the physics of the hair movement when she's dragging back is so spot on, which is awesome. I think it really really got it right. And do you know what, it actually gets better. Now if you want to generate completely for free with no credits, your credits will not be charged, whether you're at zero or one or two credits. If you want to generate for free, just simply turn on this non-peak mode. And as you can see, from 30, it simply goes down to zero. Now of course, it takes a little bit more time, because it's at non-peak hours. But it means that you can test out the results for yourself, before you decide to move over to the Pro Pack. Remember, the link is in the description, and let's go ahead to test this even further, with the anime or Studio Ghibli style. So here, I've got this prompt from ChatGPT. Of course we don't want the POV aspect, I'll just copy this or I'll copy all the way right before the last sentence. Then take it here, then paste it in. Then particularly, we want to use the animation because we want animation style for this one. Then maybe let's try 9x16 for this one. And as you can see, once again, it's at zero because it's literally free for you to test it out. Then you can advance if you'd like, but personally, I'm loving this AI. So since I've got a few credits, I'll just click on create. Now, I think this tool is also perfect for anime, and so essentially the prompt was a woman drinking coffee in Studio Ghibli style. And just take a look at this, just take a look at this, everything is so perfect. You'd think that this is straight off from a Studio Ghibli animation. And I think Vidu AI is actually very very good, like I'm not even capping. Like this is so awesome, and it's so very underrated. Actually, I think this is so cool. You can always recreate this, or you can download without watermark. So let's go ahead and test out the image to video. Now you can upload an image. Let's see, so here, I've uploaded this image here. Now obviously, if you have been a follower of the channel, or a friend, you know that I always like to test out the first image to video, without any prompts to really see how the AI or the video model understands the image. And I'll click on create, so here, the video is done, and look at what it did. As you can see, those small movements that AI influencers do are here. You can see, she reaches for her hair with no morphing. You can even see the way she's breathing, which is very very awesome. You seriously need to give this tool a try, the link is in the description, I promise you it's very very good. I'm even surprised that it's not getting as much attention as Sora, or even Kling. I think this tool outshines many and thousands of things, from my own perspective. You are free to have a different one but I think it's really obvious. So now let's give this a try, with an actual prompt. So we can prompt it like this. Something like this. And for movement, I'll just use medium in this case, and then click generate. Now personally, I think this image to video is way faster actually. Roughly about, um, 4 minutes. And this is the result. As you can see, it was a woman shocked and she put her hand on her mouth. And as you can see, it's executed perfectly. So good, let's try another prompt, something like this. Then simply, I'll maybe choose large as the movement and click on create. So now it's done, and boy oh boy, so I want you to take a look at what it created. As you can see, it did a very good job. The point was the woman standing up and waving her hands. Of course, it's not exactly the best of prompts in terms of the amount of detail, but it did do a decent and very good job. I mean this is comparable to Sora, and even Kling 2.0. So now another cool trick that you can do is make this image fuse into another, and you would have probably seen something like that on TikTok, or a Reels, or YouTube Shorts. But to do that, just simply duplicate and add another image here. So essentially how this works is that this one, that is the original one, is the first frame, and then this is the last frame. So I'll just confirm. Then I'll just maybe remove this prompt. And of course I'll leave movement and click create. Okay, so it's done. And let's see what it did. As you can see, see how it blended it so damn perfectly. 
it did really good, whereby the first frame transitions into the last frame, which is awesome. Then again remember, you can also test this out for free, all you need to do is tick this non-peak mode, and it's completely free, trust me. So now, let's test out another feature, which is reference to video. So um, for this, you can use the Video 2.0 model. So for this, all you simply need to do is upload images. So this works similar to the element feature on Kling, where you upload certain images. So let me just show you, I'll just upload some images. So essentially, as you can see here, I've uploaded an image of an apple and table in the dining. So basically, we can say, zoom shot of an apple on table, then choose the resolution, where we just go for 720p, then for the movement, choose medium, and then click create. Now just take a look at what it cooked. This is the result. As you can see, it has blended it in so perfectly. Now, I do want you to take note of the prompting mechanism. So just basically, tag the images or the references, and then you tell it their position, or what you want that particular one to be doing at that particular time. And at the end, you can maybe specify the type of shots that you want. You can also check out their user guide here. You can just create it in a new link, and you can read more about it. Or you can even go ahead to try some of the samples that they have. Let's try other examples. So essentially, I've got three images here. I've put in a prompt, so you can try rearranging it. So image 3 and image 2 are on top of the table in image 1, and a slow zoom shot. And then you can now leave everything the same. Or maybe we select 9 by 16, and click on create. Let's see how it cooks. Now, actually, you can try to upload up to 7 images here, which is just awesome, and you can try it completely for free, once you've just turned this non-peak mode on. Now it did an even better job with this one. I think Vidu AI has to get more praise than it gets. Just take a look at this, the zoom is amazing, and it combines the two elements, or the three elements, so perfectly without any glitches, without any size problems. Just so seamlessly and perfect. I think this tool is really good. So yeah, be sure to check out the link in the description if you want to get it. And don't forget, you can always get it for free once again. And if you'd like more honest and truthful AI reviews, be sure to subscribe to this channel.